Hi, I'm Charles Moman. I'm a retired elementary music teacher. I taught here in Seymour uh, for 37 years and it was a wonderful career, and I retired a few years ago. In January, I was privileged to go to Auschwitz in Poland uh, with a tour group led by Eva Kor, who is an Auschwitz survivor and a Dr. Mengele twin experimentation survivor. She has a Holocaust museum called Candles in Terre Haute. And about 75 of us went to uh, Poland with her, and we spent basically a week, um, very busy week in uh, uh, Auschwitz because it was the 70th commemoration of the liberation of Auschwitz. And uh, as a result, it was so busy, uh, we really didn't get to see everything, but we did see a lot. And to walk those grounds with a survivor is a really, really uh, a real privilege for sure. Um, as soon as I came back, I started doing some talks at libraries. I started here in Seymour and had two uh, full houses groups talking, and then I've gone to other libraries as well. Um, as I was doing these talks, I realized that uh, people really, really were interested in the subject. And so uh, I decided to go back. I wanted more information. So in June, I went right back to Poland and spent two weeks by myself filming um, at Warsaw, um, another death camp, Treblinka, and a, th a third death camp called Majdanek. But I primarily spent a full week back at Auschwitz. I stayed in the village there, Oswiecim, and for day after day would walk uh, to Auschwitz. I even got to work with the museum staff a little bit, and they're wonderful. Uh, but I did, I did a lot of filming, and I have thousands of photos. I don't show them all in the presentation. My presentation is about an hour and a half long, and uh, it gives a, uh, a view of the camps. Um, I like to tell people when I do these talks, I like to reassure you that I don't show a bunch of graphic images, so we've all seen those in piles of bodies and, and horrible things like that. I have a couple of historic photos, a few historic photos I use, but nothing like that. So I want to just reassure you that it's not a graphic presentation. It's primarily my photographs taken in the winter and then back again in, in the summer. And the place looks so different in those two different seasons. Um, before I went, um, signed up for the trip, I really didn't know much about uh, the Holocaust. And I'm, I found out that that's true of a lot of people that have come to my presentations. Um, we knew some basic numbers, knew some information, but not a lot. So before the trip, I watched everything I could on Netflix and Hulu, read lots of books. So I had a lot of head knowledge, but it's a whole different thing when you're on the ground there walking uh, the grounds of Auschwitz I and Auschwitz II Birkenau uh, with a survivor like Eva. And uh, she does a wonderful job um, leading us around the place and telling her own personal story. Um, so I enjoy doing these presentations, and I don't charge for these. Um, uh, that's not my goal whatsoever, but I, uh, most libraries do have a Friends of the Library group, and most offer me an honorarium. And so I'm, I'm more than happy to take them, and then I have, um, I ask that, uh, if at all possible, please just write the check directly to Candles and just mail it to them, uh, so I can continue to benefit them. I've raised almost $1,000 doing these talks uh, for Candles, and I'm thrilled to be able to do that. I did a 50-mile trail run in April and uh, as a fundraiser and raised over 13000 So I like to be a benefit uh, to Candles. Um, speaking of Candles, if you're looking for um, a speaker from Candles, Eva or any of the other speakers from there, you'll need to contact them because I'm not, I'm not an official speaker of Candles. I'm not a representative of Candles. They're very well aware of me. They know me quite well. Um, but if, if that's what you're looking for, and that's a great way because the Holocaust is such a huge subject. Uh, you c it can be addressed from uh, many different angles. And hearing from a survivor, uh, I don't, you just can't beat that. And, and all of their stories are quite different. But they're all getting to be quite old. And so my, what I do in my talk, I describe it as a Gentile looking into the Holocaust. And so I give a little bit of historical background. I do not portray myself as a World War II history buff. Definitely not a Holocaust expert because it's such a gigantic subject. But um, I feel there's a place for my kind of presentation. And uh, I found that people really, really like it. Um, in my email, I'll have uh, some references from the other librarians. Without fail, they've all been very happy with my program. Um, and I try to have a little question and answer time at the end. And people have really found it um, a very engaging talk. And so if you're interested in a, a program like this, uh, I have information at the end of this video as well as in, uh, in the email that I'm sending you. Uh, and I'd be happy to come sometime and do a presentation for you. So I hope to hear from you soon.